good day, good afternoon, o maayong hapon sa tanan. So, in this video, we're going to install a new a fan for the CPU that we have just built uh, a while back, which is uh, which was the X79 motherboard with the uh, Intel Xeon inside. So, we'll, we'll, we'll try to replace the old fan, which is quite a small one, which is here. So, we'll try to add an additional fan, which is a 120mm fan, but for it to become more uh, pleasing to the eyes, so we'll, we're going to install an ARGB fan controller for the non-supported uh, motherboard, which is the X79 motherboard, by installing it with this one here. So this one is a YJT ARGB fan controller module 1255. So I purchased this a while back because I wanted to install an additional and a, a bigger fan to remove all the heat within this PC while using it for a longer period of time. As you might have well known that putting up additional fans for the CPU in this case will likely extend the lifespan of all the materials inside uh, this PC for it will cool down your CPU at a much uh, lower temperature. So for this one, this is an RG ARGB fan module controller which also have in on which also features an RGB uh, fan case so it has RGB lighting at the, as you might have seen and also the, the previous uh, cooler that we use which is for the Silverstone A120 is also capable of an RGB uh, header module but in this case this one is an ARGB which unfortunately the motherboard does not support so in order to have the fan function with an RGB lighting we need to install an ARGB fan controller okay so without further ado let's unbox this one and see what's inside so this is now the ARGB romantic fan 1255 controller module inside so first we have the controller the next one is the <laughs> this one is not the controller but the remote control so this one is the main controller itself which is the YGT uh, fan controllers which we can install up to 10 fan modules and two LED uh, RGB strips here so it has a SATA power cable adapter that you can plug right in into the board okay. so since this one is also capable of supporting an ARGB motherboard so this one here is the ARGB fan module fan module connector that we can place inside the supported motherboard but in this case we will not, will not be doing that since the motherboard is quite an uh, old one so we'll just install it with this controller itself so also inside are the fan screws And in here, we have the RGB fans. Okay. So these are RGB fan modules which would run on lower RPMs, thus resulting to a lower noise profile. So we have three fan modules, but for this one, I might be installing only the fan here, at the exhaust of the CPU, 
and we'll try to see if we could install the other fans on the other parts of the CPU okay so let us now install the YGT RGB fan controller module inside this case but first we need to remove first the old fans here okay so this is now the old fan here so so we'll try to install the 120 mm fan in here at the exhaust stop okay so just to make sure that how to install the fan so whenever the base or the base of the fan is where it is so this is where the air blows out so the direction of the fan should be pointing that way so that hot air coming from the PC will be pulled out away from the CPU okay So let's install using the screws. Maybe we'll just put the controller here on this side. Okay, so we can install this one by removing the double-sided tape and install it here. Just make sure that this is clean so that the adhesive would stick on the chassis. In order to install the extra fan at the front uh, panel, we try to cut the space here so that we can have an intake fan that we'll be using with the other fan. Okay. So we have finally installed the other fan in the front of the panel. So it's now time to connect this ones to the controller. So by the way, these are six pin connectors here. That is for the RGB fan modules. Just put it here and lock it in place. Okay, two fans are now connected. So, the next thing that we're going to do is to install or connect this uh, ARGB 
module for the RGB connection of the CPU cooler which is this one so unfortunately for this one in order for this to function in continuous motion or in with sync uh, colors with the two YGT fan controller you need to buy an additional accessory which is this one which is the 6 pin to 3 pin ARGB converter so that it will synchronize with the RGB fans on the YGT controllers here so as you can see here this is the cable connecting the cooler RGB header this one so what we need to do is to buy another one which is the 6 pin to 3 pin ARGB uh, controller cable for the plug so next is we're just going to connect the ARGB connector to the one connecting the CPU fan cooler okay. let's connect it here just like that Okay, put it into place and connect this one to the controller okay. Okay, so we have already connected all the cables. Time to clean up the cables with making it sure that we have carefully managed the cables behind this case. And also connect the power supply for this uh, controller to the SATA power connector which is located at one of the power modules in here. Okay. So it's time to install the front panel back. Okay, so in here we have already connected the three fans, the exhaust fan which is located here, the CPU fan cooler, and the front fan which is connected in here. So we'll try to turn this thing on and see the RGB lightings for this one. So just bear in mind that putting additional RGB does not improve the performance of your CPU or your system but rather it would extend the life of the peripherals and other hardware devices on your CPU since you are already running on a lower a lower temperature okay so let's try to turn on this thing Okay, so the CPU is now turned on and we have RGB lightings. Nice. You see here, and we have RGB lightings and this one is already synchronized with the RGB lighting of the other two fans in here. The fans are really quiet as of this time. Okay, so let me just take a look at the additional fans in here. Okay, so these are the two fans. This one is the CPU cooler. 
the other one is the exhaust fan and in here at the front we have the intake fan okay. so they are all synchronized fans Okay, so maybe later in the dark, we'll, we'll see on... You know, by, by the way, let's use the remote control. So we already have RGB lighting. So as we use the remote, as we select auto. Okay. See how the fans are looking nicely okay so we click on red so it's now red Ooh. and blue nice So this is how we install an RJB controller fan with an unsupported motherboard. So we'll just need an ARGB controller module and the RGB fans. It's nice. So later I'll give you some clips in the dark. So if you think that this video is helpful for you then just give it a like and share it with your friends. So if you haven't seen how this x79 motherboard is being built just click on here and check on how it is being made the last time okay see you in the next one bye, -bye.